Oh, wait, isn't that the girl from the palace? Oh, you're right. Hey, so, why sorry. did you skip her dialogue? Evan, thank God you're all right. Well, I know, pretty much. Pasha, what are you doing here? Yeah. Well, you know, things got rather hairy back at the castle. I had to persuade a young man to hide me in his cart so that I could escape. The next thing I knew, here I was. Gosh, well, it's a relief to see that you're safe anyway. Yes. Oh, yes. They're taking a very good care of me here, you know. This is my first experience of life in another kingdom. But it seems that some things are the same wherever you go. As long as you're willing to work for a living, you can't go far, uh, far wrong. What? Yep. Huh. Oh! That's wonderful to hear. By the way, I've started a new kingdom of my own. Would you like to come and join us there? Huh? Gosh, uh, are you sure? I mean, it's a wonderful offer, but I do have a job here. <laughs> Don't be silly, Persia. The king himself has come to fetch you. I shall be sorry to see you go. But how could I possibly stop you? But there is one last thing I would like you to do for me before you go. Could I ask you to sew a new quilt for one of our guest rooms? Sew? Sew. If you're doing it in like an old lady accent. It's so. I know you can say so. No, you no, you never but say sew. You say sewing needles. No, you don't. You always say so. Sewing? But if you're doing it in an accent, you say, see you. Then that accent is dumb, wrong, and fake. Mostly hey. the latter. Hey. 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 It's for horses. Also, hey. <laughs> by your logic. I would be happy to, of course. But we're all out of thread. Oh, dear. Fetch right. quest. I can go get you some thread, Persia. Thanks. You could. Oh, could you? Oh, that would be such help. Four clumps of green glade cotton would be just perfect. Perfect. I should say. I'm fairly certain I have all of those. Can you just give it to her? Yes. Or you don't have it yet. <laughs> I got nine. You do? Mm. Here you are, Persia. I bought you four clumps of green glade cotton, just like you asked. Thank you. Really? Oh, you do that for me? Oh, aren't you wonderful? I shall pay you back 100 fold when I come to your kingdom. Now, let me just sew this quilt. I'll be ready for, uh, to leave. And I'll be ready to leave. I don't like how it's like in the background of like- Yeah, it's, it's pretty bombastic. Music that, or uh, during dialogue. See, this is nice light music for this yeah. conversation here. That's nice. Excellent. I'll be able to continue keeping my esteemed customers in the comfort to which they have been become accustomed. <laughs> Thank you all for your hard work, Persia. <laughs> May fortune favor you in your new home. The old lady's yes. a pirate. Thank you, too. I don't know what I would have done without your kindness. Okay. To be totally honest, if we have to do that for every single person, I'm probably just going to start skipping dialogue. Well, Persia was the girl that was cowering. Yeah, Persia is fine. We... But, like, if the next person has, like, a, a 15, right 20 long dialogue to recruit them, it's this guy. <sighs> I'm cursed with terrible indecisiveness. Even when I turn to the dice to make a decision for me, I find myself rolling them several times. Nope, not him. Who? Someone outside. Or maybe it's this guy. Welcome. Come back anytime. Nope. <sighs> Newbie? Oh. Really? Okay, if you require weapons, uh, talk to the shopkeeper. Oh, no, newbie. It's time for you to try making your first weapon at last. Oh, you're a weapon maker? That's wonderful. Uh, well, my, oh, sorry. Well, my training's not yet complete. 
My grandmother was a weapon maker, you see. I was her apprentice until she passed away. I should find a new master, but I do not have the enthusiasm. The shopkeeper has taken me under his wing, but in truth, I am worthless. Mm. That's terrible. I understand how hard it must have been for you. But I'm sure your grandmother would have wanted you to continue your studies and become a weapon maker like her. In fact, why don't you come to my kingdom so that you can do just that? Oh, yes. Well, well, newbie, that's an interesting offer. What do you think? Would you like to go to this kind young man's kingdom? Hmm. Yes, I, yes, I think I would. But there's a favor I'd like to ask of you first. Go fetch me three peaches. <laughs> okay, so he wants us to go kill a monster. With her weapons? Hmm. Nope, he just wants us to go kill it. Magnanimous. Magmanimous. Magmanimous. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go kill it first. Okay, so... Are you guys totally cool with the fact that I'm probably just going to ignore the heck out of what these people are saying and just go with the Well, I don't want objective? you to dismiss all of their dialogue off the bat. But, like, his name was Newbie. His name is literally Newbie. All of the Newbie. characters in this whole town's names We are have weird. four people to have these semi-lengthy conversations with. Just so they can give us a fetch quest, so they can become our, like... A fetch quest. Ha, ha, ha. Like, if it's a character I've seen before and a... care about... Oh, we've talked with Excuse her before. Me. Oh, she actually has some dialogue. That's interesting. Hoyden. Well, she does. She's a recruitable character. Uh, That's why I'm talking to her. Uh, okay. Excuse me. May I ask you something? I'm looking for the one called Golden Warrior. Do you perhaps know who he is? Crikey! Crikey, that, there's a name and a half. I don't think I've ever heard of it before, Might. Is there anything else you'd like to tell us about this warrior character? Yes. They say that he's a true leader of men, and that he has blonde hair and pointy ears. <laughs> um... Blonde hair and pointy ears, eh? Remind you of anyone, eh? Even oh ever, my lad? Oh, my goodness! Well, wait! That sounds like... M me Oh, you are younger than I expected. But now that you mention it, you do match the description. But I've never been called the Golden Warrior or anything like that. Are you sure you aren't... Golden Warrior, please, please come and save us. Crikey! Crikey, she's proper pleading with you, man. Sounds like- sounds to me like she's in the right pickle! Uh, yes, right. Well, I'm sure we'll be able to help you, miss. Can you tell us the whole story from the beginning? Oh. So you will come and save us. Oh, thank you! Thank you so much! My name is Hoi Den. I live here in Goldpaw, in a quiet area away from all the hustle and bustle. It was always a peaceful place to live. Until recently, that is. Now it is being terrorized by a horrible monster. What is more, most of the adults who live in work in other parts of the kingdom. Only children and old people remain, and they cannot hope to defend themselves. I was sent out to find someone, anyone, who could assist us at our hour of need. And I found you. Please, you must come and help us. What do you reckon, Evan? I don't fancy her chances if she's waiting for this golden warrior bloke to come and help her. You're right, Lofty. Well, there's only one thing for it. We're going to have to step into the breach. Don't worry, miss. We'll take care of this. Oh, oh, thank you. The monster always runs off after it has had its fun rampaging through our neighborhood. We believe it's lurking down in the Tightfit Cavern, near the Heartlands. Tightfit Cavern? Alright, we'll go and deal with it. You wait here, Hoiden. Okay, we're... I... we're not having more of these conversations. Oh. They're so long, for so nothing. Like... Did we learn anything about the kingdom? No. Did we, was it actually interesting at all? Not really. No. 
It really wasn't. Uh, who? This, well, you we learned that people lady. have been calling him the Golden oh, yes. Warrior. Yep, yep. Mm. Listen, Peachy. Becoming a truly first-rate seamstress calls for more than mere dexterity with a needle. You see, the key to our craft is to always consider the person who will wear the item we are creating. We must keep them in mind Shall as we sue. So I know every you want stitch. to read these, but I'm just going to skip stitch. past them. I love sewing. Here, how about instead let's read the quest summary when we yes. get the quest. Oh, is that Devin? A normal savior? Wait, come. Nope. <laughs> what are you doing? Yep, nope, yep. nope. They're, oh, they're, please, sorry. they're fawning over I him. I apologize. Discussing it's what? Like 20... The true King Evan. Hmm. We always Gosh. need clothes. Ah! None of this matters. Stop! None of Stop. this matters. How could you? No, no, <laughs> Shell. I will do story stuff, yes. but how long is All this right. dialogue? This dialogue yes. is longer than plot stuff that we've done. Oh. There we go. Side quest. Peachy's training as a seamstress is at an end. She's looking for her first time, first full time position position. She's very keen on the idea of moving to Evermore, but before she leaves Goldpaw, she'll need a binding thread to symbolize her, uh, symbolize her bond with her new mas master. Get some spools of grass green thread. Like, Shell, she, uh, no matter what she says, it was meaning, none of it is meaningful. You can hold Y to skip dialogue. Oh, thanks. Here, Shell. <laughs> Actual plot. Actual <laughs> important plot. <laughs> Silence in the library. Shh. We'll have no rubberneckers here. You need the proper accreditation before I let you touch my bookie wookies. Yes. Oh no. Oh no. Do I have to do another old lady voice? Yep. I mean, do you want me to handle it? I can give a proper old lady voice. Don't touch my bookie wookies. I won't let you. I love them. They're the only things that love me. Fine. Well, do you, can you have a library card? Hmm? No library card. No bookie wookies. And the only way to get one is from me. <laughs> well, can you give us one? We'll need to look at those books. Need to, hmm? Desperate to get our greasy fingers on my bookie wookies, are we? Hmm? Only mine will do, hmm? <laughs> well, aren't we a cheeky one? But I like cheeky ones. <laughs> yes. Please, you'll be doing us a huge favor. Mm. Mm. What's this? Another cheeky one, and this one's all little and adorable. Yes. Very well. A bodily bodily will ask you three teeny witty little favory wavery woos. Perhaps if you're lucky, I might let you touch my precious bookie wookies after that. Just say the word when you're ready, yes. Yes. By the way, if it wasn't obvious, bookie wookies are my earlobes <laughs> and my butt. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> I think this is a woman. I think it's supposed to be a woman too, but you know how there's like you baba. Three little favors, three little treats just for Bodley. <laughs> first treat, first treat. I have a ravenous hankering for a red, red rose. <laughs> so red, so pretty. Mm, 
yes, <laughs> and they only bloom once in ever such a long while. Luckily for you, there are some nearby. What the flip? You want us to go flower picking, do you? Flip mod and talk about taking liberties. Why can't you just go yourself, you work shaky old harridan? No, 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 no. Awful creature, ignorant creature. I must stay and tend my darling bookies, yes? So, where can we find this flower, Bodley? Leave Gold Pond, go north. North? But you can't walk there, no. It's at the top of the gr of a great, big, huge, great cliff. Oh, yes. A cliff? A cliff. Bodily just said so. You'll need to be able to cast bridge to get there. Do you know it? Hmm? Yes, bridge. It's an easy peasy magic trick for showing pathways where none were seen before. Crikey! That's a new one on us, Mud. Wouldn't even know where to begin if we wanted to research it back home, neither. You'll have to learn it, dear. There's no other way around it. Would you like a teeny weeny hinty winty woo? And who can help you? Lily, little Lily, yes, she'll know what to do. Oh, yes. Yes! Mm. <laughs> For goodness sake. Sounds like a local, but how are we supposed to convince a gold paw girl to come over our way then, eh? Foolish creature, Evan is the savior of Goldpaw, a hero, yes, a wonder. Many want to join him now, many, many, many. All right, then, let's go and find out if Lily is willing to join us, shall we? Yes, and then you can bring me. My lovely, lovely little rose. <laughs> For goodness sake, you're really drawing that out. I, see, that's why I don't want to do the side quest, so I can actually spend the time and the effort on the shit that is good. Which is very good. <laughs> I mean, honestly, if there's a side quest that actually looks like it's going to be fun, sure, obviously. Uh, I just really don't want to, like, spend time and effort on the side quest. It's like, it boils down to, uh, I'd love to be a seamstress in your town, but first I need to, like, pay homage to my master here. So, uh, give me some thread, like, notice brevity is the soul of wit. Notice brevity is the soul of wit? Why does nobody notice brevity is the soul of wit? Okay, so I've got a... I got a side quest here for his quest. Trials, uh... We need to... Yeah, this one. Oh, we need to find the monster. Yeah, uh, what? Why? Ugh. He's all the way down south? Why? Well, let's head that direction first. Seems like we've got to do a whole bunch of fetchies anyway, so... <sighs> we might as well start fetching. That's what the dogs like to do. Of course the dogs would give fetch crests. Oh, I can't wait until the next Disgaea game comes out. Have you ever played fetch with dogs? I have, like, several dogs. Not really, actually. I used to actually. take care with, of dogs. You've never really played fetch with a dog? I mostly walk dogs. You played fetch with, um, the dog at my extended relative's gathering over in New Jersey. Remember that dog? Except then she really liked one of the, like... Extended relatives that I had never seen before and then we couldn't play with her anymore Huh, I never felt so besmirched Usually the dog loves me the most at family gatherings. I Mean it might have known the uh, the relative Well, he was actually a new guy according to my dad. Oh, I, I don't know 
Mm. I, these were these were relatives of my dad's. They were like cousins, cousins of my dad's side of the family. So I wasn't really Prepare too familiar to with boarded. them. <laughs> Yeah, so we will probably have to go to multiple other towns uh, beyond just Gold Pot to get some more townsfolk. Mm -hmm. uh, like, I think actually we might have to go back to the. We might have to go back to the pirate location. Have you ever had to wrestle a dog out of a. a, a ball that. out of a dog's mouth? Yes. Take that. Um. Who was it? Uh. So I had. Uh. So I had a friend across the street, and he never trained his dog particularly well. Really at all. He never trained trained his dog, period. Mm -hmm. Let's be honest with this. Okay, uh, so he never trained his dog, uh, but mainly mainly because like the rest of his family just didn't care to. They just spritz it in the face and lock it away. Aww. And that poor pup was probably going to have some real bad habits by the time he grew up. Poor pup. Uh-huh. Um... But so, uh, at one point he was trying to teach the dog how to play fetch, and uh, they couldn't get it to let go of the ball. So what I ended up finding, finding out was I was strong enough to pick up the whole puppy <laughs> by the ball in its mouth, <laughs> and I had to shake it. No, Not like vigorously, but just side to side slowly, and it would lose its grip. And so that and still, is. Still, I always wondered if he could accidentally break their necks that way. I mean, most of the dogs I ever played fetch with were medium sized. This was and large like a dogs. very young golden lab puppy. Oh. They're fairly durable ish. <laughs> and it's not like I was shaking, I was like, ah, da, da. no, it was just like, you know, back and the... forth, back and forth. Yeah. I. I would use deception just as much as strength, so. When you get a puppy, supposedly you're never supposed to let them win a single bout of tug and war because then they you sort of lose dominance. Yeah. In their eyes, so you always have to win. And uh, yeah, so I was pretty good at maneuvering, uh, you know, the little rope toys and balls were a little bit more difficult just because they could get pretty slimy and also like to get a grip around them you actually have to put your fingers between their jaws and stuff but usually the dogs are never really aggressive with them uh, but if a dog was reluctant to let go of a ball and I hadn't gotten like my grip on it or anything because they were too far away but I would do is I would hold a hand as though I had something in it I go looky looky oh and then the dog would, you know, their eyes would light up and their ears would perk and they would drop the ball <laughs> looking at my other hand. And then I'd, you know, rush down and grab the ball and throw it and then they'd go fetch it. But if they suspect that there is a treat involved, they will, uh, they will fall for it, at least for a time. It's actually really interesting. Um, I've babysat a number of breeds of dogs, and for the most part, they all have very similar body language and expressions. Have at ye dogs! <laughs> Not that they have like a universal dog language or dog behaviors, but I mean, it almost makes me wonder, like, what aspects of their personality are carried over from their breed or their wolf days or who How knows much is what. nature? How much is nurture? Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, another dragon. Yep. Leave this to me. Sheesh, there's so <laughs> many. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, ooh, purple? Purple is a uh, purple hammer. <laughs> wow. Okay. I need better equipment. Unfortunately, most of my equipment is meant for other party members, which sucks. Dudes, one thing I've always noticed. Little dogs are always very antsy. Always very high-strung. 
I think the only laid back small fine. dogs I've ever been around have occasionally been dachshunds, but they've always been elderly. The young dachshunds are yippy. Chihuahuas are just always, always like on the move. I would consider like the miniature poodles and miniature schnauzers small dogs. I suppose they are small dogs, but they're not teeny dogs. My cousins had a number of those. Always like their mustaches. Hmm? I'm just trying to figure out which to uh which things to give my character's mildly distracted just because I'm going into a tough fight. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> uh, I think I'm about good. <laughs> Let's see, we just got a purple hammer. Which is worse than what I already had. Okay. I wonder if there's actually a use for most of these things. Oh, right. Uh, nah, I already saved. We're good. I mean, I've already fought a level 22 slime like this. What's Hopefully, this? this time around. Oh, this is magnanimous. I didn't even notice when I, because I was talking about dogs. Hopefully, this one doesn't split. Oh man, it's doing a ton of damage to you just by being in proximity to it. Well, I was pretty wounded to begin with. Ah. Oh, okay. Take that. Oh, this is the healing zone. Take that. As yeah, it was long sort of weird. It doesn't weird. split. It was good. weird. We were at the convention the other day, and there was that one dog that was just in someone's hand, tucked up against their chest, and it was clearly a tiny, tiny poodle. Just not even a peep, not even a slight paw wiggle. It was just yeah, there. Just totally there. Yeah, my uh. And I know I noticed a lot of people have bad dogs. I can't imagine having a, a dog that fits in a purse. Ugh. My neighbor down the street. Uh, technically more my mother's friend than anybody to do with, uh... Than anybody to do with me. But, uh, she had... Both of her kids were, uh, fairly allergic to dogs. Mm -hmm. Uh... Yeah. And like dander and cats and whatnot, but they still wanted a dog. So they, they got, got one, one of those of like super designer breeds. Well, yeah, a number of poodles and other dogs are supposedly. Yeah, so this is like. Or this something. is. It was guinea pig size. Wow. Like, take a guinea pig, move its head up and back, <laughs> you know, dog style, and then give it little dog legs instead of little guinea pig legs. Ah. So a little bit taller. This thing was like. Almost an affront to natural selection. <laughs> um, and it's it would do two things, kind of do this because its knees barely even worked. It would just kind of like oh. paddle forward. Oh no! And shiver. Those are the only two yeah, things I the dog all would the do. Yeah, I little dogs shiver, and it's terrible. It was. I mean, honestly, I, I thought it and was really adorable. And did it have adorable. those big watery eyes yeah. while it was oh, shivering? Yeah. And like the slight nose twitches while it's doing. Yep. Ah, uh, they don't even pant. Watch your backs. Nope. It's so weird. Like it's barely I'm even a dog at that point. It's like to some degree, I'd almost prefer that as opposed to like a big barky dog. Like I'd rather have a little affront to nature than a big big barking beast. But, but if it wasn't barking and it was lovable and rolled around and drooled, like, that's still a dog. Very true. Most of the dogs I ever took care of were Labradors. Labradors are darlings for the yeah. most part. I obtained a hag's finger. Gross. Ew. And golden retrievers. Though, the neighbors across the street also had like keese hounds and oh the Samoyed puppy that one of our apartment neighbors got was so adorable 
And he seems to be training her very well. Yeah. Uh, every once in a while I'll do like a late night walk and he'll be out there playing fetch with her. At like 1 a.m. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Wait, when have you done those? Going to the gym. Or the occasional like take out the trash run. Oh. I've done it a couple of times. Mm hmm It's not a very like consistent thing, but... I thought I would have noticed. I mean, I've, I've said, hey, Shell, I'm going to go do this. And you're like, okay. <laughs> Leave this to me. That's nice. Yeah, our neighbor's got a husky puppy, and the husky puppy is doing as... Yeah, well, we've got a... All day long. We've got a whiner of a neighbor puppy. Don't let me down. Mainly has to do with the fact that uh, its owners are, they you know, away. Day. Yeah. They're, they either work or they, uh, they have school, I'm not entirely sure. So, I was left alone. Take that. There he's we go. really cute, though. Yeah, he's a very, very cute dog. Very pretty. Yeah, he's, a, a he's like here. a pure white husky with blue eyes. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Usually they have the like black and white or the brown and white markings. You gotta oh no. On the uh on the world map you can't actually push past people. Oh there's a whole town down there looks like. Wow, I wonder if you can what actually this? talk with them. I I bet I can go in, I might even be able to get some side quests. I bet it, uh... Wow, I barely do damage to these guys. But that's okay. Yeah, I bet I can go in, but it won't, like, progress the plot. What JRPG did I play a long time ago? It was a JRPG that you could actually do the whole plot in any order. Oh. It's just, like, good luck getting past some of the monsters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what's up with the lighthouse? I don't know. I was gonna go check it out. But yeah, it looks like there's a whole, like, sunken ship set up down here. Hmm. And there's a cave? Maybe? Uh, maybe? Uh, that, that one might just be stylistic. Can you go into it? Nah, it doesn't look like I can do anything the with the lighthouse. Yeah, so it's either decorative or it opens up later. Oh, there's a big tainted... Wyvern up there, though. Yep, but I can't. I can't get to that. Like a number of these locations. Well, you can jump up those. Oh, you're right. Can I? There we yeah. go. Won't attack me. You. Well. Mm. Probably going to get utterly uh, crushed for this. Especially because it's a purple aura one. Don't go. Just get the chest and leave. I should be able to retreat. Hello. Yes. I mean, it's a wyvern. That's a Watch big wyvern. <laughs> Take that. Take that. His name is what? Yvonne? Wyvin? She's almost gone. What are you doing? Escaping. Let's get out of here. Hey, grab this! Yeah, I want to see if I could actually uh, shoot him once or twice. And the answer is, I could, but it didn't. I'm glad at least they don't do outright attack you. Oh, they were going for my ally instead. Which, I mean, worked out. No, I mean, like, just being in the overworld, they don't attack you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the challenge enemies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Tani can't get up the hill. Okay. Nope. Okay, so let's just head down for the town. Hopefully there's a warp point down here. And it looks like there should be. Did you need to come down to this town? No, or? I had no reason to. I was just in the area. Capstan a pole, or what? Upon hill, I think. Capstan upon Hall. Hmm. Don't know.
Well, one way or another, all I need to do is just get her fast travel point, and then if Whoa. I ever have to walk down here, aha! These are huge trees. So what do we have in town? Just a general store and nothing else. Okay, so we want to go... Back to Goldpaw? Sort of. I was going to get every every quest done as we go by. As we go by. Because if I do all of them, then we can come back and turn them all in yeah, where's simultaneously. Hers? Up by the Rubbly Runes. Oh, okay. Look at all these monsters that can't stand, that don't stand a chance against me. They will die if I so much as sneeze at them. <laughs> 